so let's just talk about how Etsy got me messed up. Let's just talk about how I was forced to switch to Shopify. So let's just talk about why I don't use Etsy anymore. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. So let's just jump right into it y'all so if you don't know i do run my own small business i was running through sc it's an accessory shop and i have like different jewelry and accessories that y'all should go check out everything's gonna be linked down in the bio and you can shop with this url right here so guys i have been using sc for about four months um that's what i've been selling my merchandise through um i haven't had no problems before but now I no longer use them i use shopify and mind you guys sc is free and to take out fees and everything and they usually promote like handmade um original designs that are very much creative and you know something that you can't just buy from a department store right so let's just run it back to like two months ago so two months ago i got an infringement notice or an offense on my account saying that I'm using copyright um no saying that I was breaking copyright laws by using the Chanel symbols on my bangles so you guys I have seen people um blur out their charms and stuff I never really understand why they were doing that but I get it now because technically it's not my design you know we know okay we know about two months ago when an email lets you know they say that you can reach out to the person that reported it um try to say if it's fraud or not and they just take down the listing that they feel like it's copyright then maybe like a month ago it wasn't the same listing but it was something else and mind y'all i have about four or five different listings that include chanel in there so i wasn't thinking much about it because i'm not saying i'm cheating the system but you know i was getting away with it so it's like okay so so for my second offense it was the same thing do chanel and they go ahead and took that listing down and i went ahead and just kept it down because at that point, I just felt like it just wasn't a need anymore. Fast forward, fast forward to the day before Thanksgiving. Mind y'all, I have been on my page, you know, boosting it up. Like, Black Friday, Black Friday. I'm finna give y'all 50% off. Like, the sales finna go crazy. Like, I'm trying to sell out everything. Like, I was going in. I had goals. I already knew what was up. Like, it's holiday season. Let's get into it. The day before Thanksgiving, y'all, I get an email. And mind y'all, this was like, I want to say this is around like 6 p.m. or something like that. And I'm literally making sure my listens is right. I'm making a discount. You know, I'm, I'm making it happen. And I get an email. I check my emails all the time, y'all. So I check my email. And, you know, I see another, you know, legal infringement, which I've gotten before, like I said twice so i wasn't thinking about it nothing crazy i'm just okay what is it now like what do i have to take down now no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say any names but it's something in bees right and she sends me an email through essay or whatever or they're coexisting and it's saying that i was using um her charms as copyright mind y'all this is the charm that she reported i promise y'all so many vendors sell this same charm it's not designer it's not it's not none of that it's you it's a unique charm i say that it is unique um but a lot of vendors sell them so once i read the email and i read the details i went ahead and emailed the lady back and i'm like hey like what's the infringement on my account like what's going on so then I go ahead and go to Etsy so I can see like the damages. Okay, they're gonna take my listing down. I go on there and it says that my account is suspended. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I was gonna take my listing down and I was gonna have to figure out what how I was gonna sell them, but not to take them, not to suspend my whole entire account. And y'all, when I say suspended, that's basically shut down. 
because you cannot and i just found this out um a couple days ago you cannot buy from etsy you cannot sell on etsy you cannot use like you can't ship out um you can't use their discount for shipping like your account is done you can no longer do anything under that account that dealing with etsy like my account is suspended to this day to this day to this day so let me go back so let me calm down so i so she must be back right and she's like oh like it's copyright and i'm just like okay i'm confused because did you make these charms because I'm sure you're not the one putting that nail in and cutting out the metal so it looks how they look. Because these are not the kind of charms, honey. I'm like, who are you? So I'm just going to say, I'm not going to say her name. I'm just going to say it's something beads. So something in beads. She emails me and it's like, yeah, I made those charms last December. I'm like, what? So at this point, I'm livid. Like, I'm just actually like going crazy because it's the day before thanksgiving which means i have about 24 hours before the sale that i was literally like praying on praying on to get my sales up and i don't even have an account to sell from at this point i have no account to sell from so i'm trying to be professional in the emails right and i'm like okay i didn't say that's fine but i'm just like okay i just want to let you know that there are plenty of other vendors that are selling your same charms and she's like yeah it's crazy and i'm just like um and just to let you know because you reported my stuff my account is now suspended and this is my main source of income so you know i'm trying to make her feel bad you know maybe she would take the offense back this and the other but she was giving very much oh i'm sorry to hear that sorry to hear that I'm sorry that my account is down. I'm about to lose money. Okay. But it's okay. It's okay. So, at this point, I'm trying to figure out, like, what am I going to do? Because I could wait to see, like, how we can make something work. So, just to let y'all know, I personally wanted to speak with a representative. Like, it was still sort of early. Like, it's like six or so. So, I'm like, I want to speak to a representative from Etsy. So, maybe I can plead my case and see if i can get my account back so mind you i emailed etsy and i also went through their etsy support for some reason they don't have a call number you cannot call anybody for etsy support you have to email them and then they're talking about it may take up to 24 to 48 hours to get an email back i'm like I mean, I don't have that type of time. I don't have that type of time. So even 24 hours was already like not enough for me because me just asking them questions from SC support wasn't going to activate my account again. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do? And y'all, I'm not going to lie. Like, I felt like this was my lowest point. Like, I didn't hit rock bottom. Ain't no lower than this. Ain't no lower than this. Like, sales have been down i don't have um consistent income and then the one time i'm trying to boost myself up i don't even have a site to sell from mm. don't ever play yourself don't ever play yourself don't ever play yourself don't ever play yourself y'all i was messed up so i just put the computer down for a second i went about doing whatever i was doing since I said I'm going to come back to it. Because, I, y'all, I was refreshing my email. Like, I went for the email, waiting for the email, waiting for the email. But I was like, let me not stress. So, I'm brainstorming low-key while I'm taking my break. Like, hmm, what can I do? What can I do? Like, how can I redeem myself? And the first thing that came to mind was switch to Shopify. And, y'all, I've been thinking about switching to Shopify for a minute now. I just did not want to pay the fee. Like, you have to pay $30 a month. That is a pretty hefty subscription for someone whose sales aren't consistent. And I don't have a job. So, $30 a month is a lot, in my opinion. So, I'm just like, dang. And mind y'all, at this time, I did not have... I wouldn't even have the money to pay for the subscription. Like, period. I didn't have $30 to put down, for real, for real. So I'm like, dang, am I about to make this sacrifice? Like, what am I about to do? So 
I go on live because I go on live. I was going to go live anyway. Like this was a regular Wednesday. This was a regular Wednesday night. So I was going to go live anyway. And I spoke on it, right? So while I'm on there, usually it's a couple people on there. And I'm just like, hey, like, should I do it? Like, what should I do? I don't know. So it's getting late at this point and I need about 24 hours to get myself together. Mind y'all, the, the next day was gonna be Thanksgiving. So I don't really wanna work on Thanksgiving. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can do Shopify and just stay up all night and create the website and have it up and ready. So it took me a long, it took me a minute to really decide was I gonna make that sacrifice and I did so I went ahead and used Shopify right and I subscribed for $30 and everything so y'all it kind of hurt me to spend that money then I ran into another dilemma so if you don't know um to have your own website so like my website is dkcollection.net that is a domain. You have to pay for a domain. If not, then your URL will be something like um, DK Collection. Like my old URL was DK Collection by KP .com. And then for this one, Shopify would be like DK Collection LLC Shopify .com. Like this whole long drawn out thing with the dashes and all of that. See, no, I don't got time for that. And mind y'all, all my business cards and everything say www.dk collection.net so i need that domain so i'm like i've tried this before y'all so backstory i have tried to get on shopify before they let you get a free trial i just wanted to see how it works and i even transferred some of my stuff from etsy over to shopify like you can download your information and put it right onto shopify so i did that with a couple of my listings as well and i knew that i had tried to change you know move my domain over there before and it didn't work so i'm like oh please don't let me have this issue like i need that website because it's on all my flyers it's in my bio like i can't be switching it up to something 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 that shopify all of a sudden so i go in there and try to get my donate my domain transferred and everything have went through thank the lord but it's a fee another fee mind y'all already paid for the domain i already paid for the domain and now they're telling me to pay again so i think it was like another 15 dollars like 10 or 15 dollars so i'm like jesus i better get this money back like i better get this money back because at this point this is an investment that i need back okay so i went ahead and paid the domain I got it switched over. Mind y'all, when I went to go click transfer domain, it was talking about something about approval 24 to 48 hours or seven to 10 days. I was like, wait a minute now. I already done paid my money. I don't got time to be telling me that you ain't gonna work for another week. I needed to work in less than 24 hours. I had already anticipated to go ahead and stay up all night, making sure the website was right, making sure the discounts was on there, making sure all my listings is on there. Um, if you don't know my charms, I list them individual, you know, like color, brand, all of that. So I'm going in. I think I stayed up until like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning. And I got that thing done, okay? And because I'm new with Shopify, there was some stuff that I had to learn. Um, I did make a few mistakes. Like people were trying to order stuff and I didn't even have my payments set up. So it wasn't taking payments and just a whole bunch of extra stuff. And I had just never been through so much stress in my life. But more of the story is y'all, Etsy really did me dirty. I will, of course, I will never be able to use them again because they already told me you know they're trying to threaten me talking about if you're trying to make an account you know we're gonna cut you for life like you're done so to this day my account is still suspended um they replied back to me like maybe a week after i sent that email talking about um we see that you're trying to say that it's not right and uh we can't give you your account back and all these extra policies I'm gonna have to follow because my account is suspended. <sighs> so that's just a thing. What I will say though, is that Shopify does give a lot of 
key details, analytics, um, you can add all these extra apps to give you more versatility with your site, um, with your marketing tools. Like I will say Shopify is worth the money. I've gotten this, to, I've heard this testimony so many times. I, it just wasn't in my budget. It wasn't in my budget. So I'm praying the revenue that I get this month is good enough to pay for next month. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're working it out. We're working it out. I had to do what I had to do. So I just want to let y'all know that everything ain't always, you know, glitter and gold. I'm telling y'all the real. Um, if you plan on using Etsy, it's fine. Like, you can use Etsy. I'm not going to bash them. I'm not going to bash them. But the timing, the way my stuff happened. It couldn't be anything worse. And I'm gonna let you know I'm done with Etsy. I do shop, I do try to still shop with them. I did make another account. Don't tell them. But um, other than that, just be careful. Make sure you read the terms and conditions with everything because don't go, you don't wanna go through what I went through. So yeah, shout out to Something in Beads for really you know, taking my, for really attacking my business, you know, giving me very much stress and anxiety, but it's all right because I got through it. I got over it. Okay. I've crossed that mountain. All right. She's not going to stop me. I got this. Okay. So y'all go ahead and shop at www.dkcollection.net. Okay. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, this necklace is from my site. I have, I think I have like six left or so. So y'all tap in while they still on there. And that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely put them in the comments down below. Um, I definitely enjoyed making this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed, if you're not subscribed to my channel, like what is you doing like i know you want to see more of me also y'all this is going to be a part of my business series um i do have a couple other videos that's already up so y'all definitely go check them out because you know it might be a little ghetto but it's definitely giving info so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it if you want to see some more story times please let me know because i it do be a lot going on i'm not gonna cap but I thought this one, I just had to let y'all know because I just really cannot believe it. And this was very much recent. So, make sure y'all go ahead and shop my website. Um, I will have the website on 30% off all the way up to Christmas. And then we're going to be dropping another deal. So, y'all go ahead and tap in while y'all still can. No discount code needed. Just go on there and shop. Everything will be on sale um take advantage while you can you might see something you like or whatever but without further ado i will see you guys in the next one do sis also y'all it's gonna be a giveaway coming up soon so if you don't want to miss out you need to follow my business instagram and that's just all i'm gonna say on that i just told you i'm ready to give away free stuff you heard me oh okay bye